Hallelujah. Yes, Galatians 6 and 8. He said, for he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. Mm -hmm. But he who sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap everlasting life. Mm -hmm. That is Galatians 6 and 8. The Bible says, if we sow to the flesh, we will reap corruption. In other words, death and pain. But if we sow to the spirit, will of the spirit, we will reap everlasting life. Let us again go back to Galatians 5 and 16, 24. Galatians 5. Galatians 5. I'll read it very quickly to you. Galatians chapter 5, 16 to 24, very quickly. Are you there? Galatians 5. Yes. Yes. I say then, walk in the spirit. Mm -hmm. not fulfill the last of the flesh. For the flesh lasts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another so that you do not do the things that you wish. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. Now we are looking at the works of the flesh. These are the things that the flesh can do. Now the works of the flesh are what they are evident, which are what adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, adultery, and idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contention, jealousy, outbreath of wrath, selfish ambition, dissension, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and the like, of which I tell you beforehand, just as I also told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is what? Is joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self control. Against that, there is no law. And those who are Christ, those who are of Christ, have crucified the flesh and its passions and desires. Amen. 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 So the title of our message is simply the flesh and the spirit. You know, the flesh is the physical. The flesh is not this physical skin that you like you go to store and you buy meat. You have bought the flesh. But that's not the flesh I'm talking about. It is not my hand that I hold and squeeze the flesh on it. The flesh is your emotions, is your will, is your desire, is your thoughts, is your comfort zone, is what pleases you, is what you want to do. Everything that is done outside the will of God is done in the flesh. Amen. 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 So you get it. So everything, anything that you do with your own mind, anything, any sin, any desires, anything that pleases the senses, they are all in the flesh. So the flesh is your thought pattern, the things you think about, the desires, the emotions and the feelings, those are the flesh. Now, if they are not of God, it is just the flesh, I tell you. Yes, 
And the Bible said, if we walk in the flesh, we will reap corruption. If we sow to the flesh, we are going to die. Yes. But if we sow to the spirit, we will live and have everlasting life. The flesh can also be grouped in three, which is the pride of life, the last of the eyes, and the last of the flesh, which is possession, which is position, and which is power. All these are in the flesh. So when we're talking about the flesh, we're talking about what pleases you, what you want to do, what you love to do. And the flesh is the most potent, most powerful force in the whole universe. There is nothing in this world more powerful, more potent than your flesh. Your flesh can easily defeat the word of God. In other words, your flesh will take control that you won't even read the word of God. Your flesh will take control that you will not even accept the word of God. And the flesh has taken many people to have fire. Anything done in the flesh can never please God. I remember uh, we used to pray one to three. This was uh, like five, ten years ago. It was very difficult time to wake up and pray. And there was a particular woman who will call the police and uh, uh, you call the police that we are disturbing. Even though we are like two, three buildings away, praying in a car. Because there's a guy underneath every time we start praying, even if we don't open our mouth, this guy was, will be banking at midnight, disturbing us. So we said, okay, we'll leave and go inside our car and pray. And now, God, this woman will call police that we are disturbing. How she managed to scare the prayer, nobody knows. And she said, when we pray, the prayer can hit a building like a rock. <laughs> so we know that that woman also has, <laughs> she's, she's true agent from the sea. She's no ordinary woman. And I don't know, the woman, one woman said, at that time, my pressure went up and we stopped. He said, oh, you pray at night, you don't sleep. And we experienced a lot of things at that time. The hand of God was mighty when we were praying from one to three because it, sacrifice would generate power. Every time you sacrifice, you generate power. That is why when you fast, you generate power. Because nothing crucifies your flesh more than fasting. <laughs> fasting, will, fasting, will, fasting will humble you and crucify this flesh. If a man can fast seven days dry or 21 days dry, there's no way he'll feel desire to fornicate or do anything. Because fasting will humble you and crucify your flesh. So you will not want to do things to fulfill the desires of that flesh. At that time, I invited one guy. I said, we pray at night. Why don't you join us? He said, oh, no, I cannot pray at that time. I, I said, why? He said, you know, I go to bed like 11, 10, wake up 6, 1 to 2. It will disturb my sleep. And I... I want to have a good night's sleep. I don't want to be disturbed. It's not convenience for me. And I asked him, I told him, so when Jesus hung on the cross, was it convenient? I asked him, when Jesus hung on that cross of Calvary, was it convenient? No. He was in pain. I said, everything you do in this flesh 
it will never please God. And many, many, many people, like the whole body of Christ, about 90% are in the flesh. And so we cannot move God. Whether a man will pray, whether a man will eat too much, whether a man will fornicate, a man will drink, a man will go after money, a man will, whatever we do, everything is in the flesh. The pride of life is in the flesh. The lust of the eyes is in the flesh. The lust of the, of the, of the flesh is in the flesh. Everything, whether somebody will go to heaven, is in the flesh. Whether he will go or not, the things that he wants to do, whether he wants to live for God, that want to live a holy life, whether he wants to live to please God, whether he wants to crucify this flesh, everything is in the flesh. So whether you be on fire for God or not, it is in the flesh. How many people bow to the flesh? Many people desire, all they desire is to just fulfill the flesh. Have a nice car, eat what they want, drink what they want, chase women, do have good things in life and have power and great name. And everything is in the flesh. But the things that we do in the flesh has no power. Whatsoever. That's why the Bible says if we sow to the flesh, we are going to reap corruption. In other words, it will be no value at all. Everything, it will be a waste of time. Come and praise, oh no, I cannot. It's not, it's not conducive. I need my rest. When Jesus nail, when when Jesus hand, they pierced it with nails. Was it convenient for him? It was not. But he did it to generate power. We think when we sin against God, is it convenient? No. But out of love, when God humbled Himself and became flesh, and dwelt among us, and we spit on Him and crucify him and naked him. Was it convenience? No. Everything done to please the sense, to please this flesh, it cannot please God. If you, gen if you sacrifice, you will generate power. And if we do not sacrifice, we are not going to generate any power at all. The Bible says we Christians are in the world, but we are not of the world. In other words, we live in this world, but we are not governed and controlled and controlled by the things of this world. The things of this world, the worldly entertainment, the worldly music, the worldly spoils and money and desires and lies and the dresses and, and the fashion and things should not control the believer because even though we are in the world we are not of the world people who, there's a difference in the world and of the world the people who are in the world are those that dwell in this world we breathe we eat we walk by we do things in the world you pay your taxes you work like everybody should do but being of the world means you are governed and controlled by the things of this world. If the world drinks, you drink. If the world chase money, chase money you chase money. If the world say, let me do my own thing, me, myself, and I, you say, that's where I go. But we Christians, even though we are in this world, we breathe, we walk and pass through, we are not of this world because earth is not our home. We have a heavenly home. Here is not our home. We just work and pass through. 
So if we live as if the world is our home, then we have no lasting treasure in heaven because we are sold to the flesh and we have ripped corruption. So the flesh is very, very, very powerful. I read to you the things that the flesh does. You heard it. The flesh does a whole lot of things. And the flesh cannot atone fornication. That is unfaithfulness in marriage. Fornication is unlawful sexual intercourse. Lewdness is shameless conduct of no self-control. Idolatry is anything you value more than God. So if you spend more time on the net than things of God, that means so that's what you value. If you, if you value your money more than God, it becomes an idolatry. If you, sorcery is witchcraft, and then hatred is strong feelings of evil toward an individual. When you hate some, someone, it is, of course, seated. contentions is discord, quarrels, and strife among families, among children, uh, is what, what jealousy is, distrust and suspicions. Yes, and wrath, wrath is hot anger, lies, pride, evil thoughts, and evil desires and decrees. Those are rough, selfish, ambition is to be number one, better than all, all about me. Heresies, heresies are people's own opinion and agenda. And that is basically what is ruling the world today. People don't think about eternity. They don't think about life after death. All they think about is me, myself, and I. Me, myself, and I. Me, me, and me. It's all about me. And when we are in the flesh, Satan can attack us like no other because the flesh has no power. And Satan can work mightily through the flesh against us. He can he can he now influences the world music, the world entertainment, even the world worship, the world preaching. He has come into even the messages that pastors preach today. That they preach more about grace, they preach more about uh, motivational messages, uh, messages of uh, inspirations and encouragement, the love of God, His peace and joy and hope. That's what they, they never preach about salvation messages. They never preach about sin. They never preach about holiness and righteousness. They don't preach about those things. They preach what people want to hear. And everything we do to satisfy ourselves is in the flesh. Dissension is separation caused by disagreement. Disagreement, yes, dissension is when people separate because they don't agree on certain things. Heresies are people's own opinion and agenda, I told you. Envy, displeasure, the sources of others, murder, unlawful killing of others. You can murder someone with your mouth. You can murder someone in your spirit. You can murder someone physically. And yes, and then drunkenness is intoxication by strong drink. And reverie, reverie is, is righteous. Uh, 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 ra uh, people do rout. Righteous gathering for entertainment. So all these things are the works of the flesh. When man goes his own way, we know that he can never, never please God. And I told you about the fruits of the spirit, that if a man has this fruit, then the man is in the spirit. And the Bible says, walk in the spirit. For if one walk in the spirit, he will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. Amen. So the key Amen. for every believer is to walk in the spirit. We, we're going to read about what the gifts that the spirit can give. You know, the, the spirit can, the, the, we have the gift of the spirit and also we have the fruit of the spirit. And if a man has the gift of the, of the spirit, if you are in the spirit, God can give you gifts. And if you dwell and excel in the spirit, then you can bear the fruit. 
that the Spirit gives. But if a man does any of the things that I told you about, then he is in the flesh. And we know that if we sow to the flesh, that is, if we do only the things of the flesh, then we will have no power at all. And many multitude today are in the flesh. It captures my imagination that many, many, many people, they will study, they will, begin, they will become big men of God, uh, as in uh, some, even, some even men of God, and some who have degrees and leaders, but they never ever think about where they will live after death. Many, they never think about salvation, where they will go after death. Many people, even big men, kings, they don't care. They never make preparation for heaven. Many people, they just live anyhow. That where they will go after death, it doesn't mean anything to them. That is why the heartbeat of God is soul and soul. It is the flesh that does all that. When a man is preoccupied with his flesh, all he cares about is how to please the senses, how to excel life, how to acquire money, how to be very comfortable. Now, I don't say having money or being comfortable is bad, but if that is all you desire, then that is bad. Because if you have money and you are comfortable and you acquire all the riches of this world, and yeah. And you don't, and you don't, if you are comfortable and you are quiet things of this world and everything, and you don't make preparation for eternity, everything that you have done is wasted. Like, I like to think about uh, Steve Jobs, the man who invented iPhones and the Apple and all this. It's a great invention. People can go on YouTube and all that to preach that many people hear the word of God. And because of these iPhones, we are doing Zoom uh, prayer. People meet and pray because of these phones. Uh, we communicate with each other. We call each other. We give them message and encouragement. And it's, it's wonderful invention. But the man himself, he said, I don't believe in God. Hmm. And, and he, he had brain cancer and died. And left, and left his billions. He left over 40 something billion, 40, 43,000 million euros, 43,000 million euros for his wife and died. Now, it's a great investment that you and I even enjoy. And people enjoy long after, until Jesus comes. This iPhones and iPad will continue. But he himself, because he didn't seek eternity. He didn't seek Jesus Christ. He didn't, he's going to die and go to hell. Regardless of the inventions you have made, regardless of the things you have done for humanity, if you don't see Jesus Christ, if you don't make preparation for life after death, and you live anyhow, thinking that somehow, some way, I'm going to go to heaven. You are in trouble because the things of this world, they are different from the things of the world. You can live here and do everything good, but if you don't desire Jesus, if you don't seek him, if you don't sow to the spirit and do his will here, regardless of what you leave behind for the sight, regardless of who you are, if you don't know Jesus and you die and you don't accept him as Lord and personal savior of your life, you go to hell. Once you are in hell, everything that you have done is wasted. You didn't benefit. People will benefit by you yourself. That's why Jesus said, what will a man give in exchange for his soul? Look at an great investment. How many people will leave 43,000 million euros 
for their family after they gone. And, and every year, billions and billions of sales of this past money that can, that can help the kingdom business, that can send Bibles to billions of people all over China in the world and, and promote the gospel. He left it all behind and he himself is lost. All because he sold to the flesh. His flesh says that I am myself, I have power. I am my own person. I know it all. There is no one like God anywhere. Every time we say that there is no God, that's why we are telling God that I am omniscient. God alone is omniscient. God alone is all knowing. So every time you say there is no God, you say that God, I know everything. That is why I know that you are not there. Now the question asks you, how did we come here on earth? He doesn't answer that. And where he's going, he doesn't know. Nobody can tell you where he's going if he doesn't know God. Nobody, regardless of their education, no matter what they have, they will not be able to tell you that when I die, here is where I'm going. They don't know. No. That question can only be found in God. Now, whether you believe in God or you don't believe in God, whether you accept him or leave anyhow, you, you think that somehow you are going to go to heaven. God said that every knee will bow before me. God is saying that in Isaiah. He said every knee, whether you like it or not, and whether you believe it or not, one thing you, one thing you must know is that you are going to die. Even a 10-year-old will know that, that you die. And God said, when you die, I, the Lord, says that if you have power, you cannot die. But so long as you die, that tells you that you have no power. Solomon said in proof that no man has power in the day of his death. Because in the day of your death, if you have power, you will save yourself. But the day you die, you have no power. No power. Said when you die, God said that Almighty God he said you, you can live and do whatever you want. But when you die, every flesh will stand before me. God is saying that. Now, whether you believe it or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or what, well, yes. Whether we sleep or whatever, whether you sleep or you die or you don't die, the thing is you live here. You live there. Yes, but yet the cry you be fierce as this one. Who da? Who be fierce as this one? Who be caught in fierce as this one? Are you with? Who be a wada di a wada inti no wada ni enu be bi a wada di a wana di wada. What da basu udia as this one? You know me say di panada. So papa, oh papa, da inti ube usa oda ho oda. What da basu? I want the 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 uh -huh. uh -huh. I know the other one, I want to say yes, I was sorry. But I have a I know the other one, I want to say I was sorry. I know the other one, I want to say So, that physically, I would have pass you, but I want to say that physical body, physical body, I want to say that you want to say that. And it's here, you want to say I was saying, no, no, what you are saying is that you are What are you doing? What are you doing? I was saying, what you are saying is that because you are not going to be able to get the money. Let me tell you, the Bible says, what are you doing? 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 And this is what I am doing. No, the Bible, listen, prophet, the Bible says to be absent from this body is to be present with the Lord. So when you, when, 
to Bible, the Bible is saying that. So when you sleep, you are with the Lord. When you are with the Lord, what happens? You are no longer in the physical realm anymore. To be with the Lord. You, yes. Yes. But even Jesus wept. Bible say Jesus wept. Jesus himself. Yes, Wado, prophet. Uh -huh. Wado. Wada, but I'm talking about say Uniho Bim. South Yasa. Oh, 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 uh, excuse me, who did you? Farise, Meire. But the Meire, you excuse me, you know you, prophet. I just want you to understand this. Say, Meire, what we are, what are, but so new beam. What's your answer? Dear Tiana, you say, any pan who are you, you know? Ah, you didn't show me. Ah, you didn't show me. What is your new beam? Ah, when you are better open, I wouldn't say what I have. Oh, I know. I understand that. paradise. And it's a die, yes, you beban, or can I die, yes, you beban, or sorry you. And the end of the year, why our paradise? Yada. Yes, yada. Yes, 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 Abraham, Kukumono. It's true, Sawada. But you don't see him again, is what I'm saying. He is going to a different realm. And that also done our moon will be our way. But you can't touch him. He's no longer among the living. I bet but Yes, but you are no longer living. Elijah. because say spiritual worm. Now try to so what you see, as I see a Dana Trono, the Atrona Cano, I was see a man a yawa, but you will be war. When a money dear for the Nequa Shafom, but a new pony to me by Cassatra or Windham. I will be a quite war or Cassatra on whom ye. What you are here to meet in us at dinner home, or go a bit to crouch or say be beware. But over Connor, dear no, so I will also be a no or cana. As you are or chill on whom we. And now we know who it is. So did this a wada. The Christian sleeps like everybody else. But when even when Lazarus was dead, Jesus said he's sleeping. But we know that it was not just ordinary sleep. That is why when the disciple told him that if he sleeps, he will wake up. Then Jesus told them plainly that he's dead. Because when Jesus told them that the man was sleeping. They said, oh, Jesus, if he's sleeping, then he'll wake up. Then Jesus told them that now Lazarus is dead plainly. But Jesus was speaking metaphorically to them that Lazarus was sleeping. But they said, oh, if, if he's sleeping, the man will wake up. Jesus said, no, Lazarus is dead. So Bible says that we Christians, when we die, even though we sleep, it's not a question of whether we sleep or we are not sleeping. The question is we are no more. We, to be absent from this body, the Bible says to be present. That the prophet be anywhere, overcast will be who are when yes, I see you be more better than because we did for the one who knew who moon near many people who are da. Obi who are da. Mimi said, Me would not be eating in some other. 
enti anya ne ya bebere se mawu ana se me yiri zu wuna me ni mise wawu beti wada a o twan me wo baabi anti ye ni yenyi ni se ye wu ayada so what you are studying okay ah because ye ni twan se ye wu ayada ye kwatwa wa abraham buku mu e ho ne ye twan ye bia ye da twan ye nyankopon eni ti asasi su wu ni de ye betim de obi akwasha form but ni pa na ye de na akwasha form no so no o kwada no asa hu ni se edi pa no ne ni di komo so on our black one, our bet you and you know, or what two and you plan out to me, I was see go my who I know who you know, good now. And Nippa won't we send yet, ye who know, and Nippa won't was I see so ya on Cocron, on Cocron the Cocho and Nippa Carabet. Wow, one in idiot to me be a switch on my own, said Nippa, and what would ye bet on a Nakasa? Well. We will just put I had the best of Friday near Bass and Sam Russell. Yes, we will discuss these issues on Friday because they are too complex for us to understand. Because for me, I know that when a man dies, well, the thing is, even though the Bible say he's he's dead, Jesus said the, 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 the person as a person himself will never die. That is the spirit will live on. But this flesh will die. The flesh will die, but the spirit never dies. This flesh will die. It will rot, but your soul and your spirit will live on. Are you uh, what you are, prophets? Sir, who never ever proved. said that Debi a wuyu suka we na Africa ni mu pia. Oni pedua ne de ewo ho but ka ne na waja mu tena. Yes. Ah, na me tena se ni pedua ne ni wa firi mu but okra ne de wate ho. Yes, okra de de. Oni tena, eni tena sa si si obi timi fresh scent fro obi kra a wa wu otimi busa na sem. Owo a si do obi photo koma na. Where does the body go? When you die, where does your body go? Our body need the the shadow come the shadow form. So where does it go? A shadow form. So where you can dig the body up and 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 see the body again. The body is gonna rot mm -hmm. when you bury it. There's only the soul and the spirit will go to God. You are three in one. A man is body. So, yes. no, no, no. We are not talking about we are talking about death. <laughs> you are not talking about death. Everybody knows that the soul never dies. Everybody know that your spirit never die. But we know that your flesh will die. This flesh will die. And the flesh will be buried and the flesh will rot. Every believer knows that. That when you die, you as a person sitting there, you are body, soul, and spirit. You are not just a body as you see. This is the flesh I was talking about. You are not just a flesh as you see, who are just a person, like everybody can see Prophet Kanawu, but in you, you have a soul, you have a spirit. So when you die, that body, the tent, that's why in Second Corinthians 5, said when this tent dies, we have a better tent. In other words, when you die, your soul will become strong and your spirit will go back to God. And this flesh will be buried here and it would rot. So when a person dies, and then his flesh. Daddy, what is the difference between soul and spirit? The soul and the spirit. Mm -hmm. Yours. Okay, yeah. that's a good question. That's mm -hmm. a good question. Human beings, we are three in one your soul, your spirit. First, with spirit, your home, with spirit, your home, with soul, your crap. And our flesh, 
enti hohom ene okra okra no ye your emotions your will your thought and desire that is dwelling in this body and your spirit is in the soul in other words the spirit is from god that he put in you and so the spirit is only in your soul and the soul must dwell in your tent which is your body and so when you die the soul never dies it will go back there's every one spirit will go back that you what about holy spirit what is not holy spirit in so way holy spirit ah because holy. so no any spirit you know eya dwo body ni mu a no obi wo ho konkon a e no so wo hen fa the whole the holy spirit dwells in the holy spirit dwells in your spirit you a person who is not of god like let's say somebody is a fetish spirit he has a spirit satan inhabit that spirit which means his spirit is an evil spirit when holy spirit dwells in you you have the holy spirit in you that means your spirit is holy because the holy spirit is in you the holy spirit dwells in a holy tent which is you and so your spirit can either be dominated by the holy spirit or by an evil spirit depending on what you do so if you live for the lord like you live for the lord you are holy before a holy god his spirit will come and dwell in your in your body which is your temple and the soul is in this body and so the holy spirit will come and influence your soul and so with your soul being influenced you will live a godly life you have good thoughts you will do what is right you will do what is holy that means the holy spirit is influencing your soul which is your so the spirit either either you either you are for the lord or you are not for the lord that spirit in you will go back to work if that is if it's of god it goes back to god if the spirit is not of god then it will go back to satan and so your friday, soul friday 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 yeah, your soul your soul everyone has soul the soul is the most important aspect of you which is your will which is your emotions which is your desire and the soul can be termed the flesh that is why jesus said what will a man give in exchange for that soul and the flesh as we are speaking about is the way a man thinks is the way a man wants to do like some of some people they are fresh say they should go and drink some say they are fresh say they should go and chase women and they will go some say they are fresh say they will, pray, they will not come that's why some say they are fresh you say they should not read the bible they will not that means the fresh is controlling them and some people to they are so like when they should fast they will fast even though it's difficult they are going to fast some say they should pray even if it's not convenient they will come and pray so the soul and the spirit is of god so prophet when you die this flesh will remain here it's going to rot it won't go anywhere if bible say we sleep metaphorically a man sleeps but yes we believe a sleep because we don't die because the spirit and soul will never die it goes back to god when a man dies completely that means he has perished in hell fire the bible say you will be lost that is a man in hell fire is lost completely that means there's no benefit to his soul he didn't come back to god he went to hell fire the crack the metuasio na dia mention ni say tro ni say ye gidi fo ye wu ayada anti ye wu ni ada dia e wose ye nyina ye gitu mi say ye wu ayada and no na me person ye ti ase enye say ye bia me person ye wu if we die we are sleeping ah we yeah. are sleeping when we die we, we are sleeping the bible says we are sleeping uh -huh. now the question i'm asking is, i i'm asking is when we are sleeping where are we an <laughs> wo ankasa wonim ba bia wo wu a wo ko enye obi na e ka kero wa bra bo kero wo se wo wu a me dru nyame anim a nyame be bua me fo ene de enye obi na be ka kero amen amen
Ah, uh, but you're much more you what you ask your mommy. Uh, well, I don't quite get uh, it. Daddy, you I say, see, see, I would do a woman say, who are the poor heaven and I won't go. Oh, I know, sir, be who are the heaven because I, but, but I know, sir, who are the heaven because, like I told you the other day, I don't want to think that I'm doing anything wrong. Like in my mind, I know I am not doing anything wrong against God as I'm sitting here presently. I'm not doing anything wrong against a human being. Mm -hmm. I have no evil thought, even for the witches that are attacking me in my father's house, I pray for them. I pray for uh, the Pillar of Christ ministry members in my prayer quiet time. I pray for the Yeah. Yo, okay, we are going to. You have interrupted my message, and I don't understand why did you interrupt it, Prophet? Uh, my question to you is why did you interrupt my message? Did you disagree? I then I'll make preaching now very interrupting. We'll stop now the baby from the book. Because what you were talking about was not what I was preaching about. Daddy, my dear, catch your say. Platform me, you so say, be bitching a man, be a bit me, Bisa. My dear, can when you say, I will be a drinker, and it will be a mater, or be a cassa, or suminu me and in a cassa. And a platform, you suminu me and in a penny move or so. And to the whole quiet say, who preach here, be bitching a man, be a bit me, Bisa, or be a no quiet so to me, Bisa, or have better media, say, be bitching a meso, I will preach in him, and we won't quiet me, Bisa, until you are Friday and Sunday. What you are saying, Yeah, okay. I want to one thing, your master. What you are saying, you said. Say, be be so I drink sooner when to be Miss Sunday. Men, many dear, me will all quite send me because some of my be an Friday, my dear Missa. Where I say, I hear a church and say, We, eh, be or be soon to be be as you will watch us here. Okay, okay, sir. 
the other reason I know maybe be saying is now as some of can some be be and one who disagree with it. Now we are talking about say, uh, who oh, say good. say Steve Jobs we know or call, even though he didn't seek after the things of God. <laughs> now if you don't seek after the things of God, regardless. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you know, I'm going to and so challenge be in and some of you can be a problem. Be a be a not dream. We want to a problem. Be and come with the aim. A bit more money, more sanka. I'm not sorry, dear. So no question. Be say. And in some be say, I meant to ask you who be you man or no. We be super bad. Now in some way, children not dream. So we want to see when you free and you preaching and then pay bank one and it's your sorry. And children too. Ah, we are crying. Now we are crying. We be to my direct. Say and then you finish come with the. Obi or how be when you fear, or better me the abba, who are foot to a bet my man, I'd be as a sour be a name of your person or any fear and yam. Okay, Christo Sumo, and yes, sir, yea, bomb pioneer ten yammy as a monk, name of a foot to an inch that chile, while country on our chasset, young inch that chile me and yaya moon she a moon da. Okay, and that I was a woman, Miss Ubai said, Miss Ubai, the only man of four a year. Okay. So I saw Tinia Mabia say. I said, I mean, I won't be a sinting, I won't interrupt you, but that's okay. Now, but so I mean, Tiasi and Ameka, or is a one cooker at the end in a year, Juma. And to all the summon a bar, let me to what dream be by me to dream of fine summon all. And to me, we saw a bit to what a piano de Amos Madriam and a son or no so Adriano. And to me, I mean, if you are no my own, no so many antias. Okay. 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 We thank God. We thank God. So we are going to continue. Uh, but let's see. Let's see. Just five minutes, and then we will start to pray for time's sake. Let you see. We are talking about the flesh, and we said that the flesh. Uh, is the worst anyone can think of because it is what we do outside the will of God. When a man does something that does not please God, is in the flesh. That is, if a man goes his merry way, he even somebody will marry without seeking the will of God, is in the flesh. Somebody will not come to church, is in the flesh. Somebody will go and give something to someone just for his own glory is in the flesh. Everything that does not please God is in the flesh. And also, we talk about the works of the flesh that I told you about, all the things that he sees, those things are in the flesh. Now, we are looking at uh, the, the gifts of the spirits. We will go to our, uh, what the first Corinthians, chapter 7, uh, and then we, we will look at the works and then uh, for time stick, we will, yes, First Corinthians chapter 12, rather, 7 mm -hmm. to 11. So we're going to look very quickly. Yes, the, uh, the gift, rather, not the works, the gift. The gift that God can give to you if you are in the spirit that should manifest in the life of a believer, a person who is in the Spirit, 7 to 11. I want to read. These are, these are the gifts that God can give to someone who is in the spirit. We talk about the things that the flesh can do. A person with the flesh, we talk about the adultery, the murder, and all those things. Now we're looking at what a person would do if he's also walking in the spirit. And that's First Corinthians 12, 7 to 11. Say, but the manifestation of the spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. For to one is given the word of wisdom. Wisdom is given. The word of wisdom is something that the, the Lord will deposit in your spirit mind. It also comes as a discernment that like a prophet will say, oh, somebody is here. I saw somebody doing this. It's a word of wisdom. And then the word of knowledge is direction that a God can give a person that he should do, that from this day forward, we should do like worship, maybe one hour, and preach like 20 minutes, because worship is what you give to the Lord, 
or we'll do worship for 20 and preach more because God wants us to pray more about certain issues. Those are the word of knowledge. And then the word of faith, the word of faith by the same spirit to another gift of healing. Somebody can pray and healing like we pray here on this platform. And after some time, somebody will testify that, oh, I brought my program and you people prayed and the Lord has done it. The prophet will tell people to uh, give a testimony to glorify God. These are all the gifts that the spirit will give. And also, uh, 10 is to another the work of miracles. Those are miracle working, like somebody can pray and something will happen. It's miracle that has manifest. And another descending of spirit. Descending of spirit is like in Ghana, people have that discernment and they say that they are prophets. It could be something that God can deposit in your spirit, man, that you should do. Uh, or God will open your eyes to see certain things. Those, these are all the works of the spirit, the gifts that the spirit can give. And like, see, another, the different kinds of tongues. The tongues is like on this platform, we don't pray in tongues because the Bible, the Bible specifically says that when a person speaks in tongues, somebody should interpret. And you know, the church, the church doesn't do that. Somebody will just talk, Makata brokoto brokoto, and nobody can interpret. <laughs> and it, and when that happens, that's not what the Bible says. The Bible says every time somebody speaks in tongue, that person, if you speak in tongue and you cannot interpret, then don't speak. You can, however, speak in tongue when you are in your own home or praying alone. You can speak in tongues to God. But in a certain, when you speak in tongue, somebody should interpret. Or you, after saying that, then say the Lord says that he's doing a new thing. As you, you, as you pray in tongues, you are interpreting. That's what the gift does. But then, then he continued to say, that is 11, but one and the same spirit works all these things, distributing to each one individually as the spirit works. In other words, God, God can, like I said, some are prophets, some are apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some ministers, some pastors, pass I said, uh, it goes like this. Teachers, pastors, evangelists, prophets, and apostles. Apostles are the leaders. And then the prophets. And then you have the evangelists. And then you have the pastors. And then you have the teachers. These are all gifts of the spirits. But these are the calling in the, in the office. Office of a teacher, the pastor, evangelist. Apostle, uh, ap uh, prophet and apostle. And then we go to Galatians 5, we're looking at the fruit. So if you bear, we are saying this and then we'll round up. Uh, that's Galatians 5.22. It says that Galatians, Galatians 5.22, where we have the gift, that if a person has these things, then that means the Holy Spirit is powerfully dwelling in that person. The, the fruit, because if you have the gift, then you must bear the fruit of the Spirit, which is Galatians 5, 20. You say, what are the fruits? The fruit of the Spirit, you know, is what? It's love. When a person walks in love, he has the fruit. When a person has joy, he has the fruit. We know that joy is not the same as happiness. Happiness is based on happenstance. In other words, a person is happy based on some things that he has seen on some things that has happened to him. Like if somebody sends you money or you hear good news or God answers your prayer, you are a very happy person. But joy is in the Lord. My joy is in the Lord. Joy is not based on things. Joy is based on the Lord and what the Lord can do. That is why a person can go through difficulties and still have joy. That's why we have the Bible so say, I have joy. In my heart, mm -hmm. deep, deep, deep in my heart, Jesus gave mm -hmm. to me, and no one can destroy. Mm -hmm. I have joy mm -hmm. in my heart, deep, deep down in my heart. Mm -hmm. You see, they say he has joy in his heart. Jesus gave him that joy. So joy is, is a spirit, it's given, like love. 
Love is also a spirit. It's giving. And peace is a spirit. Somebody can go through challenges and difficulties and still has peace. That's why we say yes. Jesus is the prince of peace. Mm -hmm. When he was living, he said, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, but my peace. My peace, the peace of God that flows from the phantomless billows of love. The, the peace of uh, this world is not peace at all because that peace can be disturbed. You, you say you have peace and somebody start making noise. Well, please, you are disturbed. But when Jesus gave his peace, nobody can take that peace because it comes through the innermost Listen, that even when you go through hardship, you have peace. It's the same as John. It's a spirit. And then we have long-suffering. We know that God is a long-suffering God. God is long-suffering because God can take a lot of our mess. And, you know, like somebody has killed someone, buried the person, and he has a platform preaching. And God can see it, and he's looking. You see? That is long suffering. That is long suffering. He sees the wrong and yet he doesn't do anything. Are you with me? You, that it's a long suffering because he can do something. He doesn't like it, but he takes it. You know, he sees our sin. He doesn't like it, but he doesn't kill us. If God can kill us when you were in the world messing around, he will kill you even before you will change your life and repent and say, now you are a preacher man or something. You see, so God is long suffering. He sat on his throne and suffered why Jesus was being killed. He's a long suffering God. He sat on the throne and suffered every day that Satan would, would destroy his children. Satan will use his spirit to hinder people and sending people to hell fire. People who should not go to hell are going to hell because the message has not been preached to them or somebody has deceived them, or they follow the world, they follow their flesh, and now in hellfire. So God is a long-suffering God. He suffers, and he's quiet, suffering. God is suffering every time we sin, every time somebody goes to hell. Because the heartbeat of God, soul and soul and soul. God is sitting in heaven. All he wants is how we are going to be saved and not end up in hellfire. Because hell was never created for human beings. He was, hell was created, the Bible says, in Revelation, the hell was created for Satan and his demons. But unfortunately, salvation has been given, and you and I have to accept it. If we don't accept this, that salvation is there, but people are going to hell. How many people are going to hell? Every day, even God has given man salvation. And then, we have the kindness of God. God is so kind. When he has to punish us, he still gives us his blessing. God is so good. He doesn't deal with us according to our sins. He's a very good God. God is faithful. He never, never fails. He never, ever fails. God is so gentle. Imagine Jesus giving up his hand for people to put nails in his hands and kill, kill him. Can you do that? Imagine when somebody's spitting in your face. Can you do that? If somebody were to spit in your face, even if you are a prophet, you, there will be trouble. America here, if you cut off somebody in, in, in the traffic, hmm, the things they will do to you, just cutting someone off, as if you have murdered someone. Some people, if you step on their toe, <laughs> hey, there will be fireworks and Jesus giving out his hands so that they'll put nails and kill him. You see, he's very gentle. When they said that he has a demon in him and he said, every sin will be forgiven, but sin against the Holy Spirit will never, ever be forgiven. Because they said that in Mark 3, 21, they said that he has a demon in him. And he said, all these things I do, if I have demon, you who don't have demon, what do you do? But we say everywhere he went, he was doing good. The cripples saw him, they started walking. The lame were able to stand. The dead were raised back to life. The gospel is preached to them. 
And yet, they said that he had a demon in him. And he said, anyone who speaks against the Holy Spirit will never, ever be forgiven in this life or in the life to come. So when you speak against the Holy Spirit, that's it. No forgiveness. So gentle. And God is self-control. How many people insult God? How many people bring the name of God to disrepute and dishonor him? And yet, God doesn't say anything. He's, he's so self-controlled that I, I cannot even believe. Like Jesus, letting people strip him naked. Can you? Can you let someone naked you in public? Can you? This is what he did. God Almighty. He, he stood so low for his children to naked him. Can you believe that? And he did it out of love for you. God didn't do it for himself. He did it for you. How many people will even challenge you if you say something that they don't like? But God was so self-controlled that he let them naked him. Human beings, they strip him naked and disgrace him and spit on him, treat him like a dog and kill him. That's what he did for you and me. And in spite of all this, he is still seated at the right hand side and interceding for you. The Bible says Jesus is our advocate. Every time Satan will bring accusation that this man is a sinner, he did this. God said, my blood has covered him. My blood has sanctified him. My blood has prevailed for him. Can you imagine? What a mighty God we serve. So we're going to end up the message and we're going to pray that we should not sow to the flesh. Because the Bible says if we sow to our flesh, that is if we do what we want, if we do what we feel like doing, we will reap corruption. That means you don't do what you want. You do what is right. You don't eat what you, want, what you want, like I do and most of us do. You do, you eat what is good for you. You don't say what you want to say. You say what is right. But we say, let your words be seasoned with salt. Whatever edifies, whatever strengthens and builds up the body of Christ, this you must speak. And so we are, we are ending our message today. And we are going to pray that, Lord, let our let grant that we will not live according to our flesh. Let us die to the flesh so that we will not fulfill the desires of this flesh. Because the flesh is sinful, the flesh has been cursed, and the flesh will die. So you're going to pray that, Father, grant that will never sow to this flesh. If we sow to the flesh, we will rip her. If we sow to the flesh, we will die because the flesh does not please God. So Father, let me die to my flesh. Let me die to my desires. Let me die in my comfort zone and let me live for your glory. Every step I take, everything I say, everything I think about and do, Father, let me ask. Let us ask if it is pleasing in your sight. And I'm going to you too. I simply are you can. And I'm going to be a year. You know, you miss us. Until Radi, a year of fun. Open your mouth. See everything I do, Father. I would die. I mean, I that is flesh.
Pray in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of in the mighty name of so that I can crucify the flesh. By your power, by your might, by your might, and I hear you pray you. Oh, 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 flesh needs to be crucified. That is the flesh under subjection. So that you feel that yes. We are the second prayer we're going to pray to God. Our time is going very fast. And so we're going to pray that Father take our will. Our will is broken. Our will is deaf. Yeah, so you pray that Father take my will. Let have your will that I'll live for your glory. Father, let me live for your glory. I want to sacrifice myself. Make me sanctified for you. I surrender all. I surrender all. I surrender in the Oh, 
you are going to pray this time for yourself you yourself that's why we get the platform everyone has where it hurt the most you know it even jesus he asked blind Bartimaeus, what can I do for you? You think Jesus, Jesus didn't know? He knew, he knew what his trouble was. The man at the pool of Bethesda, he knew for 38 years, the man sat by the pool and never was able to get in because he was handicapped. He was physically incapacitated. He couldn't get in the water. Every time the engine would trouble the water, somebody would get ahead of him. But Jesus said, what can I do? He knew. That is why we give you the problem that you yourself take your request to the Lord in prayer. The Lord will answer. Whatever is your heart desire, take it to him. The songwriter said, what needless grief we bear. All because we do not carry everything to the Lord in prayer. Everything. And not just be prayer, believe, 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 believe. Like that man who is he said, believe. It's very important word. I can't think of any word in the Bible so powerful than that word believe. Because the Bible says all things are possible. Salvation is possible. Blessings of God is possible. Favor is possible. Healing is possible. Wonders possible. Miracles possible. If you do what? If you believe, so believe and let us cast our bed into the Lord because the, for the one who has promised is faithful. Nothing is too difficult for him. He said, behold, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard? Nothing is too hard. All you have to do, you believe. He said, if you, if Mark, he said, if you command this mountain to move into the sea and do not doubt. So when you pray, believe that you have them and it shall be yours. These are the words of Jesus Christ himself in Mark 11. He said, if you pray, don't just pray. If the prayer becomes a ritual, 
and you pray and pray and see nothing. That is why we have so many unanswered prayers in the body of Christ. So two things, you believe and pray for others. If you can believe, pray for others. You yourself take your request to the Lord in prayer. Whatever is your heart desire, take it to him. Where two or three have gathered, he is in our midst. The hand of Satan cannot prevail. God is in his temple and he is mighty and he is awesome in this place. So carry your request to him. But the one who has promised, he is faithful. Nothing is too difficult. So whatever is your heart desire, whatever you need the Lord to do for you, take it now to him in prayer. In Jesus Christ. Mighty name. Let's begin. Every Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. 
We have four more prayers and we're going to leave. We are going to pray. Our Father God, from every Buddha. This is a short prayer, but it's a dominion prayer. Paul said, My God will deliver me from every evil word, it was second word, and preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom. He said, God will deliver me from every evil work. And sure enough, God did deliver his apostle from every evil work. So you pray, believe that no matter what the enemy will throw at you, no matter what will come your way, your life is in the hand of the living God. And the Lord will deliver you from every evil work. It doesn't matter what Satan is planning, what you don't see and what you don't know. As you cry unto the Lord and you depend on him and you cry unto him and you carry your request to him, may Jehovah God deliver us from every evil work. Because we are his children. Just because we call on his name. Not because we are holy, not because we are righteous, but because of his mercy, because of his love and grace. May Jehovah have mercy upon us and deliver us from every evil work and preserve us unto his heavenly kingdom. Open your mouth and pray. That my father, deliver my father, as a matter what you have done, you have done. 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 
Yes, the Lord shall deliver you from every evil work, from shame, from disgrace, untimely death, affliction, bondage, poverty, setback, failure, limitation, curses, every evil work. The God of Israel is able to deliver us from it. In Jesus Christ's name, amen and amen. Now you are going to pray. Prayer of intercession. Intercessory prayer is praying for others. That is what I advocate. I wish I could do more of that. Pray for others. Pray for the homeless. Pray for the needy. Pray for families. Pray for children. Pray even for this platform. Pray for everyone. Your family. Even the witches. Bible says pray for those who despise only use you. Pray for them. Jesus prayed even for the enemy, the people who said hallelujah, hallelujah. They turn around and say crucify him. The mm. people that ate the bread, the bread and the fish, the same people, they followed him, say crucify the man. Bible says he knew what was in people. So he didn't put his trust in men. Men will fail you. Don't put your trust. Put your trust only in God who never fails. Pray for the helpers. Pray even for your family members. Pray those who, the enemy, because Satan will never, never get to you. He will use people. We must understand that. He will use people close to you. Your wife, if Peter and 
Jesus working together and Satan had the audacity to enter into Peter. While Jesus was standing next to him, God was standing next to him and Satan entered the man. He can use anyone. He can use your wife. He can use anyone. He's able, don't think, if he can enter Peter, you think he cannot enter you? If he can enter Paul, Paul said, twice we tried to come, but Satan hinders us. If Satan has the audacity to stop angels in Daniel that God himself has sent to, uh, in answer to Daniel's prayer, and they see that angel, you think he cannot hinder our prayer? He can pray for household witchcraft. Pray for them. Pray for the enemies. Pray for nations. Pray for families. Pray for children. Pray for prophets. Pray for me. We all need prayers. Peter, Jesus told Peter that Satan has asked to shift you like wheat. But I have prayed for you. So when you are strengthened, pray for your, your brethren. Yes. I would say could take permission. Now why Peter to send what you job. But Jesus told Peter that I have prayed for you. And look around. Peter, I don't know this man from anywhere. Can you be can you believe such a betrayal? And to pray for your enemies. Don't don't worry. Take it to the Lord in prayer and pray for all. Pray for your families. Begin to pray. Open your mouth. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. And I God, we pray. We pray. We pray for God. Those are Satan and some power. And we pray for them. I 
thank you for the blessing that is coming to me. And thank you. I pray for the king of Christ Jesus. I pray for the king of Christ Jesus. I pray for the king of Christ Jesus. Goodness and right. I lose the good way of our statement. I the good of 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 the this platform and then after that we give thanks open your mouth begin to do that very quickly
by the Savior, the prophet. Yes. Amen. Amen. If I'm to move in your face, I'm to your home as near Papa Mumpire. I don't want to buy another seat, Ebenezer. I know I'm going to do. Yet the last year, the Cabiana Mau, if I want a fatawo, and ready at the uncrown crown, and we used to wait at the moon. When you will be at a how, when you will be at a dream, when you near Tati Wong, yet the Bower name Adeja. And Radi Fam Sakauma, Sakra Kabo, your shepherd is a fool. One hour near your boy, I have said to my own. One hour Tate, a radic, my assumption, and your one mass abri, Brawzi Casemu, Brawan Halmu, what will you my bremu, yet Tati Wong Bremu, a radio will do a fool. One buff can say, one come out for a radio, yes, what that El Kawong a battle. There are the born who pay for born for the zoom. The obvious to soon be a lamp to you or how it was seen that one in short identity. Yet you come as a few word him. A radin brown suburb, number one massacre, seren towers. My ends for ye, where you say as a few word him. Amen. 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 So, Obi Yampai bow with me, Bissau. So be here by bow with me, we say now do what I see. Be here with me, dear. Be here the word there. Obi, ah, daddy, we're guesting. Ah, patch Obi or Mike, no, daddy. Ah, or Mike, no, ah. Praise be, praise be to God. Hallelujah. Um, I, I just want you all to thank you all. So ask you all in the name of our Lord to continue to pray for me. Uh, I, I, I'm feeling a lot better, but it hasn't come to complete improvement. So I need a divine, this divine healing. Amen. So, and, mm -hmm. and for the doctors to tell me everything is okay. Amen. That's what I'm waiting for. But Amen. I'm feeling good in my body. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Yeah, bomb yeah. by me, Yawa. Sarah, I don't go from family and sign kind of a pay no man on one day. But yeah, we have you on a bomb pie. You are a bomb pie. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm Amen. Amen. When you are made on for when you are made more grown, and now you are Papa, I do not to our sell ready. When I am ready for him, and you see now you are, we are many young ones. What do you do? No one is so bad. Oh, boy, dear child, dear, when you are when you are, who want to go? And you see now you are, my way are so empty. Who are so young? Who are so young? Na doctor for you who are so young? And you see now you are, you are my Papa, you are my Papa. I want dear you know. No, but yeah, dan see I can say you are So now we are with Juma. On that was it, that was it, that was it. So I are saying, oh my dear, ne. Na ebe June so, I'm a worker. So as I go ready, me that was it. So my poor, we now put it to me. Why am I? When was the war? And I'm watching more than you see. Amen. 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 So we be on sure our person boss on pay ya and answer ya with me fa. And as we be say he am pay ba with me be say. In talk we be say me he am pay bo. 
I'm still waiting before God. investigation I will hear from them. Okay, you Mummy and I yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Mamma, why papa Bebba Nemo, I asked you why you mamma I don't want to go by our set, a radiant Baba ever were name. Nay, how did the dragon were name or Naswab down? We see him all from here, Jim. Now, but you and you, a radiant the knee. You didn't know about what you said, Munimobo. The Juman or set, rather than a Juma Pa, to Another chance to give just with you, Sarah the Manager, you my pa, na ma entry, you to me be a cantitiana, you do me sentimental. So, who be shy to cast out on the shore? A rather man, I was it, yeah, my entry, ye, open heavens, wait yourself as a people of demo. Amen and amen. Amen. The radius, yo, the promise will be for us in your pipe boat, maybe so, be any one here in soon. Yo, the patcher daddy bumpire whistle. Yo, I don't mean I go and sweet about with him. Who to me now, who now is so from Mamuya home a day. And the young sweet a cool radiant dang is with the Jibia idiotin who didn't eat tea. And rather, yan of us who didn't end him now. Near what they can see the Yara with Jidimunuma and Sentinet and to Yarwa, a mubun gunia and Shebris is some for even else someone Shebri. Now, and for fever. And good indeed, I are sorry ye day, and you won't see an amusinti. Where ye are fair as a people of dim. Amen and amen. Amen. Yo, daddy, me patriotian as my. Yo, we give the glory to Jesus. The Lord bless you, keep you. The Lord makes His face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Amen. Lord God of Israel lifts His countenance upon His children and give you. God be well with you. May the Lord contend with those who contend with you and fight against those who fight against you. Amen. I bless your water and your food, and I bless your oh, life. Yes. Whatever your hand finds to do, to do, I bless it in Jesus' name. It Amen. Shall be well with you. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Amen.
the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the love of God, 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 the Amen. Amen.